So the first thing we need to do in this case is to create the environment for the dominoes to be on, right? Make it a practice always to add some kind of floor or environment surface uh, to avoid the effect that you get of objects or geometry just floating in mid space, right? Uh, when you're creating a walk, for example, the feet or the legs of your character will be on the floor. So you might want to have that reference of a floor plane on whether the feet are going through the floor, the ground plane uh, or not. So it's always helpful to start with that. So let's go to the create tab here and on the geometry uh, standard primitives section let's go to plane there I'm going to kind of zoom out on my perspective view um, I'm going to use the edges of that floor of that grid to create the floor so I clicked over here dragged all the way to the opposite edge I can always also do it from left to right if you prefer so now we have our floor next we're going to create a box and we're going to make it look kind of kind of shaped like our domino so I'm just going to create a, a regular you know standard box and uh, let me zoom in on the perspective view by clicking the viewport toggle over here in the bottom corner and let's use the scale tool this one over here scale and uniform scale if you click on it you're going to notice that uh, you get this uh, triangular shape resizing handles uh, the middle will resize the whole um, the whole geometry uniform on all axes but in this case what we want to do is maybe this do this the front side of the domino and make it much thinner you know less deep so I'm going to create the depth of the domino by moving the y-axis back and the x-axis will be kind of like giving the the shape right the rectangular shape it's a little bit thicker than I wish you can always go back and forth until you have the shape you want so it's kind of rectangular now uh, it's a little bit thick and I'm using control R which is uh, this one of orbit sub object I use it so much that I just go directly to the to the shortcut so kind of look at it from different angles and look it looks okay from my point of view so the next thing I'm going to do is, so let's go here to the Modify tab. And as you can see, uh, our box is just a box, right? Uh, I'm going to right click and you could do uh, convert this geometry into a polygon object. Uh, I would suggest to do that since we're going to do the mapping next and uh, we need to have those faces, edges and vertex very very clearly defined um, I'm just going to right click on it convert to editable poly and notice that now instead of box we have editable poly over here what we just did is we just converted that box into a um, polygon that we can edit now uh, there's also the uh, modifier here that you can add um, uh, do, 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 do. mesh editing here uh, edit poly is does the same right uh, but it works as a modifier so modifiers mesh editing edit poly let me show you what it does it gives you the tools over here that you need to work on that geometry as if it was a polygon but the the geometry itself remains uh, it would have remained as a box, a geometry, uh, box geometry. I'm sorry. Uh, the difference is that if you want to go back to the original geometry and edit it further, maybe you're not sure if that's the shape you need, and you want to create, um, you know, an edit poly modifier so that you can turn it on and off, or even delete it, which I will do next. Uh, you can always have the option of going back if you're sure that this is the shape you want and you're not going to edit it anymore 
then you can just right click and go to convert it to editable poly uh, but that operation is pretty much final and you can't Co uh, let's say unconvert or deconvert uh, a polygon that you already had uh, set up as a polygon you cannot turn it back into you know becoming a primitive so just a big difference there so I'm going to remove that modifier because we already have the, the uh, edit polygon tools over here since we right clicked and converted to editable polygon okay so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add a texture. So, uh, hold on, my headset is falling off. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to go to modifiers and I'm going to add a UV coordinate to to this geometry, and I'm going to add an unwrap UVW modifier. Okay, so so that you see what we're doing I'm going to press M as in material so I'm going to go to the material editor and I am going to add a simple material let's say standard material and let's just double click on it and on ambient color I'm double clicking here uh, let's go to diffuse I'm sorry diffuse and let's map over here a texture that I downloaded uh, free with bing.com uh, I went and searched for a domino texture and I set the settings on the right corner to give me textures that were royalty free free to share to use and share so I found that an interesting uh, an interesting texture there so I'm gonna click on bitmap and I'm gonna look for look for my Dominoes, Dominoes textures. There it is. There's my Domino texture. Okay, and uh, I'm going to apply that to my object there. So I'm going to right-click over here where it says Material and assign Material to Selection. Okay, if you see that nothing happens, just um, uh, this is the same icon, uh, the same operation that we just did. You can do it there. Uh, select over here the icon that says show shaded material in viewport that when you click that on then you can see the texture on your viewport if it's off uh, it will not have that red highlight that you see here and your object might look grayed out so when you turn it on you're gonna see here kind of telling you that it's showing you the shaded option there okay so I'm gonna close my material editor here on the X and if you notice we have the texture apply again I'm gonna press Control R and kind of click and drag to rotate but we have to make a few changes to make that look like a domino right now it looks like the whole texture is applied to it and to keep things simplified uh, I'm going to just do one side this side as the front and everything else will be white and that's when this white area on the middle of the texture will be handy so let's go to the open UV editor over here. If you lost it, just go to the unwrap UVW modifier and then open the UV editor. Okay. Right here. Excellent. So I'm going to zoom back with the middle mouse. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this front part. Since we're keeping the other sides the same color and it's a, fl a plain flat, uh, white color I'm just gonna grab this front part of the of the uh, front face of the domino and that's the one I'm gonna move okay if you wanted to see over here the the uh, the texture over here on the layout just go here in the menu and go map one and that will show you how it looks okay and it looks very different than what we're seeing here, right? So let's go right uh, here on polygon mode and select that front polygon over there, okay? And let's just move it out of there and everything else, let's click and drag and select it and just kind of push it away, okay? So now you have all your other sides are over here, okay? So you have them included. Let's look at the at the back side. The back side is also included there. 
if you want to know uh, they're over here so that's all your sides we're missing one there you go those are your four sides and it doesn't matter that they're not fitting exactly as the shape that they represent because it's going to be plain white okay so i'm going to undo and i want them stacked up i want them one on top of each other so i just click ctrl z several times until we have them packed on the same spot because what i'm going to do next is scale them with this tool over here i'm going to scale them down and I don't think I had them all selected. So let's make a drag a selection around them and scale down. What I want to do is place them somewhere here, okay? Uh, because there's nothing on that area, and I want to just put them over there, okay? That way, all those areas are white. You see, we don't have to have detail there because in reality, those areas are going to look white. So let's just stack them there for the time being. And this one over here, if you notice, is uh, pretty pretty badly placed because we see the texture when we, in reality, what we want to see is one of the domino faces, right? So let's scale down. Scale over here. Over here. There you go and this uh, scale it and move it and I'm gonna use my middle mouse to kind of position it there you can use the free tool that allows you to kind of maybe drag the ed drag the edges I am going to um, leave and, and I'm I'm very much reverse over here I, I want to leave the the edges the black edges over there but notice that we are sideways on this on this side right so we need to on that tool we need to rotate okay so let's rotate over here and this is the direction we should be going okay so let's get that free tool again and kind of position it a little bit better so I'm just now sizing and now it looks like it's fitting the domino better you see now it's in the right direction okay we kind of used the default over there and it was not quite fitting so you can then now start uh, moving it as you need if you need to rotate it a little bit until until it fits you know that's that's the goal okay so for some reason it's kind of skewed so let's do a planar map uh, let's do a projection over here and let's use this one planar map and I just scroll down on the on wrap what I want to do is have it a little bit better lined up because for some reason it kind of got skewed so I'm kind of resetting and uh, when you do a planar map, you notice that now you have, let's zoom back, pressing alternate and mouse, uh, mouse wheel to move on the UV editor. Um, I did my projection, but it's, it's kind of like a line when I want it to be uh, covering the, the full face. So what you can do is try any of these three axes over here. You can try X, X is still making it look like a line. You can try Y. Y seems to be working. Let's see what Z does. Z also does it as a line. So it's kind of sideways, uh, perpendic uh, perpendicular rather than parallel. So let's use Y. Okay, and then get out of the projection. Otherwise, you can't click on anything. Okay, and uh, let's try scaling that again. Let's see if now no, we're having the same problem. So let's uh, rotate. Do it this way, 90. Ninety and scale. Let's try again. And just position it to to fit the area you want to cover with the texture, okay? That's a little bit better. 
we kind of lost the one on the bottom there you go that's looking much better don't you think so what we just did now is we took that one face over here on the on this side and we moved it over here so that it reads the that texture on the on the texture that we did and all the white ones since we do not need to add anything on those is, is can be here um, you can maybe make uh, some dominoes have like some something on the back like a flag or an icon or a graphic or a color so you could make that graphic and fit it in this side here on your texture and that way every dominoes back would have that in this case they will all be white on the background so i'm going to press ctrl r look at my domino my domino seems to be ready ready to animate so the next thing i'm going to do is duplicate that domino okay so i'm going to go back here to editable poly hold yes okay and i know i don't freak out don't freak out about that we're going to um duplicate that so let's go edit oh wait we can let me show you a shortcut that you will love Click, clicking on the unwrap so say hold yes and then click on your domino okay and uh, with oh, it went back to sorry about that with the move tool selected hold the shift key down okay holding the shift key down and the move tool selected I am going to move that domino and look, I'm making a copy, a clone of it, okay? So when you clone on uh, something, if you want the exact same texture on it, you can create an instance on it, okay? If you, but everything that happens to the original will happen to the, to the copy. So be careful when you do that. That will be good if you want to do, you know, like, uh, like a pattern or something that repeats over and over. You could try that. In this case, we're going to select a copy. Uh, copy just make it a copy and say okay and now you have two dominoes okay they're different dominoes they're different how do i know they're different because one sex says box one and the other one is box two okay we could rename that to domino one so let's call it domino it's good to rename things so that way you remember later what it is and box two will be domino two okay so let's go and change the the look on this guy so that when we're animating it looks like two different dominoes okay so on the unwrap i'm going to scroll and open the uv editor over here and i lost my texture so i briefly i'm going to go and select here map one so that I can see what I'm doing and on fit in polygon mode right here let's select that front face and let's simply just move it over to the next domino is that is that easy there okay now we have two dominoes we have five one and we have one two so now we are ready to animate so when we come back we are going to start setting keys and we're going to start making them as they collide and then we're going to go to the graph editor and make some changes on the animation